Welcome back, Duplicants. I'm your host, Get Good Fox, and uh, that's right, you are in a Fox's Doomed Expedition, and wouldn't you know it, it looks like someone is uh, doing yard work outside and is being very loud. Uh, I'm hoping that all of the insulation I've added in real life will do something about that and hopefully muffle it. It's not terribly loud, but if it picks up anything, I do apologize in advance. So, today, what are we going to be do? What is this? Oh, I see something here. I don't know what it... Oh, uh, liquefiable ice. That's right. Okay, so we're going to move the ice right in the air. No, not filtration. Liquefiable, regular ice. And also, I'm going to copy it to here. There we go. Yeah, now they're going to put the ice in there. Because remember, our goal is, you know, we wanted to cool this area down, and I, I want kind of a primitive way of doing it. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to reduce this to about 1,000. Eh, let's do 2,000. And I'm going to copy that over here as well. And the reason for that is because um, I, I want them to put them in both of them equally. In fact, I could probably reduce it even to 1,000. And then that means that, that that's the maximum that they're going to put the, uh, the... This is the maximum amount of ice they're going to put in here, so now they're going to put some in there as well, which is what I want. Mop this up. So as you can see, we're already going to start... Oh, do you guys need more orders? Let me pause. Um, go ahead over here. Interesting. How far does this go? This area is far more extensive than I ever believed. Not that that's a bad thing. Let's try to reveal some of these areas. I want to be able to reach all of the sleet wheat right now. That's kind of one, that's one of my goals, at least. What is this? Yep, just having them drill in here. Now, there's a lot of things we can do in an area that starts out called. Let's go ahead and have them submit a bioscan to this. Crank it up to a priority six. This is like some kind of like crazy... I, I you, you can tell it's obviously like a man-made um, structure, but it's like... Okay, are, are you guys going to put the ice in there? What's happening? Wait, what are you doing? Here. Uh, dump out the ice, and put, I want you to put, yeah, 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 a thousand, a thousand ice in each, that's it, that's all I want, I don't want, no, no, no need to get all crazy and stuff, so as you can see, the ice here is rather, uh, how do you, how do you say, uh, cold, in comparison to everything else, so you can already see that there's a cooling effect occurring over here, and that's going to help can combat against, as I said, the uh, the whole the whole issue of like the base slowly beginning to heat up. And I think it's let's see, what's the harvest button? I think it's Y. Yeah, Y is the harvest button. Okay, so we're in. Let's go ahead and cut this. And now what we can do is inspect. We can kind of rummage around. So we found an intact document, uh, old yellowing newspaper clipping. It won't be of much use, but I'll add it to the database nonetheless. So we can look at those later on. It's basically just lore. What about here? Inspect. Okay, so we found another same thing. Another uh, computer was wiped almost clean, except for one file hidden in the recycling bin. So that added another data thing. Okay, this is like mostly like lore stuff. Oh, a cold salt slush geyser. That could be extremely valuable. Not could, it, it absolutely is. We definitely want to work our way towards that. Although I don't want to, we need to be careful because we don't want to uh, uncork it at the wrong time. Okay, I'm gonna sign some new orders. Building a new floor. Same over here. Actually, I don't even know if I want to put the vent... I don't know how the ventilation is going to look. I don't know how the vent... The, oh, we got a, a level up. Okay, level up time. Um, now I don't think we need anything right at the moment. We can just sit on that level up. 
And by that I mean, um, I was gonna pick something that, that is considered an interest to them, but I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to pick something that wasn't very good. That was, that's the issue. You know what, one, one thing at a time. Let's not confuse the duplicates, let's just have them drilling. I think I will, I do want the, I want the, uh, yeah, I think I, no, no. I don't know what I, I don't. I don't know what I want to do. I'm being a little indecisive. I don't know exactly. know. I know that we're gonna build the uh, the water tank. That's something that I do want to do. I think the water tank is gonna be around here, and the water tank is basically like I, I want to get all of this fresh water into one spot so that I can actually make make it useful in some way. Oh my God! Look at this! Like, look how fast we're drilling through it! Like, that's right. Get in there and do it. Get in there and do Oh, the, the double drilling is just... Oh, it's so good right now. Oh, look at him go through it. Oh, also that, too. Drill that as well. That's good. Get in there and do it. Yeah, yeah, I think this is how it's going to look. I think this is going to be... I think this is going to be a big water tank right here. Oh, of course, the... Work time is over. Of course it is. Why can't you just work for... Oh, good. It's not over. Get in here and build. Get in here and build it. Do it. Minions, construct this base for me while I just sit here and give orders. That's right. Like, uh, I mean, maybe I'll make a duplicate that represents me as well. But, um... For the most part, I'm just the... the I believe from the story perspective, like I'm just some, like, disembodied guy. Like, I don't think that I'm... I don't know, I, I don't think I'm anyone in particular. Or like, I think I'll, I, I guess I'm some kind of like base commander or something, but I have no idea like what, what role that, I have no idea what role the character plays. So far, I believe that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna basically turn this into a massive like water tank. Yes, do it. Turn it into a water tank. Oxygen, you don't need oxygen. Oxygen is, is it's optional. That's right. Build it. Build it. They're getting through it. This is the advantage of not having anybody research. We're able to build a lot quicker. Also, the the research does use up a lot of electricity, so we would have trouble with um Yeah, you know, we would have to re redo the electricity more frequently. Like we would have to have people running on it. Okay, so this is going to be the bottom of it. Now let's go ahead and um you know, I'm gonna remove this floor eventually, but let's go ahead and... I'm just gonna build this walkway here. The walkway is gonna get removed, but uh, for now it's fine. Because we just need a way to get up there. Oh, we got a collapse, that's fine. Yeah, the more area we drill in the base, it also allows the carbon dioxide to fall downwards. Which gives more room for the base to be pressurized. Looks like we got a little, let's use this button and then we can choose gas. And then we can see, yeah, we got a little puff of, um, little puffs of like polluted uh, oxygen. I can try to root those out at a future point in time, but they can be a bit of a pain. And it's only a little bit of oxygen here and there. Man, they're making great progress. Let's go ahead and seal this side up. And then like this. This will be sealed up. Oh, it's so good. Having the all, all of the extra labor that we're getting, it's so good. Like you, you go so much faster. And it looks like over here, I said that 40,000 was kind of like, I'm like, you know, are we going to go up or down from 40,000? Looks like we are still trending upwards, so that's really good. We will need to check our oxygen trends to make sure that we are producing more oxygen than we are consuming. Another value of like lining the base is that you can do what you'd call pressurizing the base, meaning you, right now it doesn't matter because like if oxygen escapes the base, it's just going to go like right in this little small area here. But if you had a really big area, you wouldn't want the oxygen just to like escape your base and start oxygenating other parts of the base that might not be all that relevant. Don't, don't even think about getting inside of that. You idiot! You! I, I saw it happening.
They tried. They tried to lock. They tried to lock her out, but it, di it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Like I, I, I had my eyes on it. Like that, I knew that was like a trouble point. Let me see if there's any new skills. Yes, over here. Um, I want to get more building. Building. You're gonna be different, like, cause like DJ is gonna have like the the digging, and so you're gonna get to you get to wear the construction hat. Uh, improve construction too. There we go. Printables. I want to see that first. Change the hat. There we go. There we go. Over here we got. Op. No, nope, you're a loud sleeper. Um. Rocketing and farming, decorating and operating would be useful. I think I'm okay with this, though. I don't think I need any more people at this exact moment. I think I'm perfectly okay with what we've got. Let me go ahead and start adding in some of these. And then um, I'm going to add one of these here. And I'm going to add one of these here. And I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, let, let, let's one thing at a time. Let, let's not overload them with tasks. And it looks like we have successfully loaded these up with ice. And you can already see this area is already showing signs of cooling, which is exactly what we want. That's right. Build the area. Construct. Build. Okay, now we can safely do that. Put this on its side. Put that like that. Yes, very nice. Now I can start removing these floors. I gotta remove them in like a specific pattern because they will inevitably be unable to reach the locations. So I gotta punch like a hole into each one and then kind of do it like this. Get it. Get him. Do it. Do it. Do it. There we go. We're almost done. Now we can build this. Now what we need to do is to get mesh tiles out. Which lets us add in the bottle openers. And now what we can do is set the bottle openers to specifically only regular water. And then I can copy and paste, like so. And hopefully there's no poo-poo water. I don't think there's any poo-poo water anywhere except right there. Which is perfect. Let's go ahead and clean up this water here. Oh, the manpower. Able to do things at lightning speeds. I love it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to... We probably need to pump out that. We can, we are, we can separate it. Like, I do, I do have a way to separate it. Which is exactly what I'm about to do. Let me see, liquids. So it's only right there. We might need to research for it though, let me see. We, what, what I'm gonna need, a, I'm gonna need a, uh, an automation that acts as like an on and off button. Let's see. The heat one, I, I, normally I use the heat one. Where is it? Right here. Um, what is, oh, is this one, oh, uh, okay, no, no, the signal switch does just fine. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to build a pump right here, and then in the automation category, I'm going to use a signal switch right here, connect it like that, 
And I'm just gonna create like a little area to capture it in. Um, that little area can be... It doesn't really matter where it is. It could be like right here. Yeah. And then what I can do is build pipes and just dump it out right here. They can still fit in there because they're able to like squeeze through that, so that's also fine. We're also going to need electricity. I'm also going to need to connect it to an automation wire. Okay, we already done that. That's good. Uh, set the signal switch to off. Connect. Now we can split the water out. Let's see if the water moves. The water moved right there. That's fine. You guys almost done. What are we waiting for? Oh, the electricity. It does need That is true. It doesn't. Oh, it also needs the pipes. Let's see the pipes. The pipes are coming along. Okay, it's connected to the pipes. Okay, let's see how it let's see how it's going. We're going to flip the button on. Okay, we can see it pumping it out. How much is left? How much is in there? There's about 620 kilograms. There's a decent bit in there. Let me turn this off. Let's just see how much water we're pumping out. Oh, it's more than I thought it would be. That's not too big of a deal. Like I said, we're blocking it from a... It's just leaking back into here. No, 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 no. Don't make more of those. No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. There we go. Let's just start mopping. There we go. Now that we mopped that up, we can, we can start separating it out. Let me see how the water is looking. That's looking fine still. Okay, what I need to do is I need to, I need more surface area. So what we're going to do is tile over these. We just temporarily need more surface area. And then we can redo it. Okay, let's flip the switch back on. These see, we, we, you can see like the big blobs right there. We're trying to get them out of there until we can pump it all out. Let me flip it off. See how we're doing. I don't know why some of it is like spilling over there. I can easily fix that though. All I gotta do to fix that is just drag it in a little farther. And uh, all I gotta do is, where's piping at? Plumbing. All I gotta do is that. Deconstruct. Let's make sure there's the water isn't, yeah, okay, it's looking fine. So let's see how good, how we're doing. The amount of polluted water there is down to 500. So like, it's, 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 a, it's a decent, it's a, it's a good bit of one chunk of water. I believe one full tile, yeah, one full tile of water at its maximum capacity is a thousand kilograms. That's right. Mop it up. There we go. All right, so once we do it there, then it, it shouldn't cause a problem anymore. Uh, just to be safe, I'm going to do this. I don't I don't want it to get into the water. And then I'll put this here as a way for them to be able to get over. Well, oh, that's right. They can, they can climb over, too. Forgot about that. All right, let's flip it back on. gonna take a moment to clean these out unfortunately because like I said it is actually a large quant it's a surprising quantity of it you know what I might do I might just continuously have a mop yeah they're they're getting through it just keep mopping you get in there and mop yeah it's because the the, the two types of waters do not want to blend together I think that's what is what's happening Oh yeah, we're making good progress now with it. 
That's right, just keep mopping it all up. Mop it all up. You get this poo gas water out of here. Oh yeah, they're doing great. So they're just trapped on constantly mopping it up, which is fine. Let's see how it's looking. It's down to two. Oh, look at this. Look how look how quickly it's going down. It's it's going down from one. We're we've almost got all of it out. That's awesome. Keep mopping up, boys. Keep going. We almost got it. Come on, keep going. We almost got it. What a job. Like, they got, like, water and poo water being dumped on them, and then they're constantly having to mop up the water. Oh, man, it's it's a, it's a tough life, boys. It's almost gone, though. Like, we, we their, their, their task is nearly complete. Okay, it's done. Now we can flip it off. And they can just finish up mopping up the remaining water. Okay, it's done. Let's make sure no poo poo no poo get water has escaped anywhere. Now I'm just gonna let them dump out all of this water. All of that's fine. Now we can cut this away. And add these back in. Okay, now that the water has been successfully transferred out, what we can begin doing is we can just start pumping this water out. So what I'm going to do is just add this deeper... I'm going to cut through this area here. And then I'm going to cut into this area here. I think they can climb down. Emphasis on I think. I'll add a ladder here just to be safe. Two ladders here to be safe. And then what we're going to do is the same thing, but we're going to start pulling the water up. One thing at a time, though. Let's just let us just let them do this for now. No, no overloading the orders. Uh, let's see. Cats is ready for an upgrade. Ranching? Um, ranching is going to happen. Maybe not at this exact moment, though. Let's see what our next printout is. Uh, Oxyfern seed, um, researching, supplying, oxalite, oxyfern seed. Maybe I could do something with an oxyfern seed. I'll take it. I, I don't think I don't think our biome has it. Wait. Oh, well, look at this. We've got a critter morph. That is a um, a sage hatch. Uh, it eats poo poo and stuff, and and its poo poo is coal. That's what hatches do in general. They eat things and they poop coal. So they're they're very interesting. Very very useful. That's right. Yeah, get in here. Build it. Nay, I know they can't breathe. Like, normally I would have, like, some oxygen masks for them, but... Nah. Nah. Okay, so that's fine. Now what we can do is wire this up. We can do this. Follow the same path. And then we can do the same thing with the this right here. That way, if I want to turn it off, the, the basically what the switch does is it just lets me turn things on and off myself. Like if I want it on, I can just flip the button. If I want it off, I could also flip the button. Let's get rid of that automation thing. So if I just want to delete automations or a specific thing, I click this and then I can delete. And then I can delete. And because I was in the automation, this is called an overlay. These are called overlays. If you enter into a specific overlay, like let's say I just let's say I want to get rid of all the plumbing, but I don't want to delete the ladders and anything else. You know, if I go like that, you can see that it didn't delete anything else except for the plumbing, and that's one of the that's like a really good trick. Definitely something you want to make use of. It makes things a lot more convenient. Oh, everyone's getting hypothermia. That's a temporary condition. I, if you complain about hypothermia, it just means you're warm. Enjoy the cold temperatures. Soon the base will be cooking out of control. Build it. That's right. Hold your breath and build it. That's right. Get in there and build this. I don't care if you can't breathe. All I care is that you build it. Oh, copy and paste this over here. Construct this, uh, build this, do it now. Yes. 
Oh, you don't feel good? You have hypothermia? Why? Because it's 74. How do you have hypothermia in 74 degree water? What about your weaklings? Weaklings, I tell you. There we go. Finish it. It's almost done. Finish it. Come on. It's only got a few pieces left. Fin no. Don't go on to break. Don't end the day. How could you do this when there's when there's there's still more work to be done? Good gravy. Oh wait. That's a problem as well. Deconstruct this. Actually, we need to change this whole thing to like this. Wait. As I said, we can do that to delete only that. And now what we will do is make it go like right here. Boom. Why right here? So that they can reach it if I need to change anything. And also because this is like dumping it. Okay. I, I guess I didn't explain what some of the things are happening here. So the, the, the mesh tiles, like I said, they allow water to pass through it. And so that's why I'm using mesh tiles here specifically. That's also why uh, the ice where you remember we put the ice over here. Oh, look at this. The cooling effect. It's becoming, I'm, I'm beginning to see it have an effect. Like it's actually cooling down this battery system over here. Uh, the point is that it's going to melt eventually. And when it melts, I want to make sure fresh water melts over here. Polluted water melts over there. That's kind of like, that. that's the goal. That's right. Are you guys not done yet? You have not finished this yet. You slackadaisical fools! Okay, it's pumping, that's fine. The automation is now shutting it off. It's waiting for the signal switch to be finished. Nevertheless, we can see the water is traveling through the pipes. We can actually see it going through the pipes right there. And it gets dumped out over here. Now, this is a lot of water, so this is going to have to run basically 24-7, like, all the time. So, for the, so for the signal switch, all, right now, all I gotta do is I gotta click it, and I can just flip the button, and that shuts the power off to it. But I want it to run. It's going to be running basically 24-7. Also, this is going to need to be a thing. We could sub keep the slime submerged, because eventually the water level is going to is going to fall. Eventually. Not for a while, but in time. Okay, so that is done. That I guess that is an automated thing. Can we build a another smart battery? How much do I need? I need how much do we have? I don't where does it tell me? I don't know. Let's just build four. Four of these, let's start getting this going so we can get another smart battery in here. Are we, is everything charging correctly? Yes, things are charging correctly. I can always check what my resources look like by using this. See all, um, copper. How much do we have? We have, uh, oh, oh, oh. Looks like we've got, um, about half of what I need, so it should be enough. Yes, look at this. The computer is actually... This area is starting to slowly show signs of trending downwards in temperature. Very nice. Like, this storage bin is down to 72 degrees, and the, uh, the ice is warming up, but that's fine. Eventually, the ice will melt into liquid, and when it does melt into liquid, it, it'll be fine. They are making the refined metal... Oh, do we need we need another bed? I just realized that. We don't have enough of these. Wow. Let's just add all of these in. And all of these in. Like I saw someone like re like holding their back. Oh, I got a crank in my back. I just realized that the issue is that we don't have enough beds. <laughs> yes. Yes, the poo-poo duty. Looks like oh, looks like Chubby Demon. Oh, Ada. I, I haven't named Ada. Wait, do we have a new duplicate? No, the last time it was uh, DJ. Oh, I forgot to name... Uh, well, we'll do it later. I'll, I'll name him. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it right now, actually. It well, Actually, it was going to be pause, and it was going to be... Uh, who was it going to be? Oh, man. I'll, 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 you know, I'll cut it. I'll, I'll edit it into the beginning of the episode. I'll, I'll edit. It was going to be pause, and it was going to be um, develop... Okay. 
So I will I will have to make it a beginning intro for that because I complete it completely for it slipped my mind totally. But yes, development pause was going to be a uh, is, is another community duplicate. Uh, he is a boosteroni. And I, I'll just use the power of editing. Oh, well, you know, it'll be Ada for a while, but it'll be it'll be the power of editing magic will allow me to rectify that. You know what? Um, I kind of want to actually. Nah, oh, I'll, I'll leave it that way because like the heat is coming in from there. I kind of don't want the heat to go in there. Actually, let me go ahead and just seal these off for now. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I don't. I don't think I want these to. Because what I can do is, if I want to build through them, I can just open them up again. But for now, I don't I don't want the heat, especially next to the supercomputer. The supercomputer doesn't need to get any hotter. And this sandstone is 90 degrees right now, so that's there's no need for that. Temperatures in the base are looking okay. Trending downwards would be nice. Like we're seeing some, we're definitely seeing a lot of cooling happening in some of these other areas. But that is, uh, that's a good. I can always add more boxes as well, and we can just fill them up with more ice. Nothing stops me from doing it. Anyways, that's probably going to be the end of this episode. I'm just going to copy and paste these over, and um, yeah. I will see you in the next episode. We are finally getting things, uh, we're, we're getting things good and going. We got the whole water reservoir going in. We're getting some kind of primitive cooling through the usage of ice, which is just an early way to begin fighting back against the heat in the base. But yeah, overall, I think we're doing pretty good. So let's tune in for the next episode. Like the video if it was entertaining. Subscribe for future oxygen not included content. And of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good. Oh yes, and through the power of uh, editing magic, I'm going to add this to the beginning to welcome another community duplicate, Pause, who's Development Pause. I, I forgot to change the name of this character until like 27 minutes in, so I said I would do this, and and I guess the the pause will be Ada for about 27 minutes before he's no longer. He's the power of editing magic. So once again, thank you, Development Pause, for being a boosteroni in the Discord server. I very much appreciate it. But let's continue on with the show.